Hello, and welcome to Easy English Interviews, the podcast for English language learning. My name is Chris Kent. I'm an associate professor of English as a Second Language in Japan. And in this podcast, I interview interesting people in Easy English so English students can practice their listening comprehension skills. Please enjoy listening to the interviews, and if you would like to check your comprehension, please look at the questions in the podcast episode notes. Or go to kjkentmsed.substack.com and click on the post for this episode. There, you can subscribe to my Substack and receive email notifications whenever a new interview is released. インタビューを確認したい場合は、ポッドキャストノートの質問を見るか、URLKJKENTMSED.SUBSCRIBE Okay, and now for the Easy English Interview. Okay, yeah. so today um, is a very important day because today is episode 15 and it is the final episode of season 1. And so because it's the final episode of season 1, I thought we would do something a little bit different and we have a guest with us today who is a very good friend and colleague of mine. Yeah. And she's also studying English. Mm. And what we'll do is, her, well, first of all, her name is Chinatsu Maki. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being here today, yeah. Chinatsu. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, my English is terrible, but mm. I try it. Uh, I hope my try and uh, motivate uh, English learners. Yes, I think so. I think that the students will be highly motivated mm. by listening to how well mm. um, you have learned English and how hard you try. Mm. Yes. Okay, so what we'll do today is um, I will be interviewed mm. um, by Chinatsu, by Maki-sensei, and uh, she will ask me the questions yeah. and I will answer the questions. So mm. are you ready to begin? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So you can go ahead and start your interview and I will just be a... Uh, I will try to be mm. a very good guest for mm. you. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, uh, let's start uh, first question. Okay. Uh, why did you choose to come to Japan to teach English? Uh, please explain how you ca came to live here. Okay. Well, that's a very long story, mm. but I will try <laughs> to make it short and very easy to understand. So, when I was in university mm. in Canada, mm. um, I was studying education. So, I wanted to be a teacher in Canada. And I was looking at graduating very soon. And at that time, the economy was not so good in Alberta, where I'm from. And so, I thought that it would be difficult to find a job straight after I graduated. Mm. So, I started looking into maybe traveling a little mm. bit after oh. I graduated. Yeah, yeah. And at that time, my professor at university, mm. his daughter mm. was studying, no, not studying, she was teaching mm. English in Japan. Mm. And he said his daughter really enjoyed living and working in Japan. Oh. And so, he said to me, why don't you think about going to Japan mm. for two or three years mm. and, you know, have an adventure, teach some English, and then come back to Alberta mm. when the job market is mm. better. Mm. So my girlfriend at the time, who was mm. in the same class as me, mm. we decided to apply for mm. something called the Japan Exchange Teaching Program. Mm. And lo and behold, she got the job, mm. but I didn't get mm. the job. <laughs> <laughs> But we decided to go together anyway. Oh. So we came to Shizuoka. Mm. Uh, we chose Shizuoka because mm. it was near Mount Fuji, mm. which is the only thing we knew about Japan. Oh. And also because it was near Tokyo. Oh. 
And it was good. So we came and she worked and I mm. found a job mm. at a small private e i k a i w a And then after about two years, she decided to go back to Canada.、Mm. But I liked Japan so much, I decided、mm. to stay.、Mm. So I got a job in a small, another small private e i k a i w a、mm. in、uh, Fujieda. Ah, Fujieda. Yeah,、oh, Fujieda City.、Mm. And I did that for a while. And then I moved to teaching at a Private high school、mm. in Fuji City.、Mm. And I did that for a year until I wanted to kind of expand.、Mm. And I got another job at a high school in Numazu.、Mm. And I worked for about 12 years at、mm. two different high schools.、Mm. And in the meantime, I was also doing private lessons、mm. for adults and kids.、Mm. So that was where I really learned how to teach and, you know, teaching so many different levels.、Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Yeah. So I would go to teach high school in the morning and then kids in the afternoon、mm. and then adults at night. Wow. So <laughs> very busy. <laughs> very busy for a long time. And then I wanted to do more even. So、mm. I decided to get my master's degree.、Mm. So I moved to Tokyo and found a job at a private junior senior Uh, all girls high school in、mm. Tokyo. I got my master's degree and I worked there for about eight years.、Mm. Yeah. Well, actually, I worked at the school for 14 years,、mm. but I lived there for、mm. eight years. Ah,、mm. um, in Shizuoka? Ah,、uh, in Tokyo. Ah, Tokyo. So I moved from Shizuoka、mm. to Tokyo.、Mm. And then I lived in Tokyo for eight,、uh, worked at the school for 14.、Mm. Um, but in 2015, I moved to Nagano.、Mm. So my wife and I had a child, our first son,、mm. and we decided to move to her hometown、mm. of Nagano.、Mm. So that's where I am now.、Mm. I see.、Uh, next question.、Mm-hmm. Uh, okay.、Mm. Uh, what did you study in、uh, university and what, why did you choose that? Yeah, so in university, again, I was focusing on education, but、mm. my major area of study was English、mm. because I really loved drama.、Mm. And so I studied, you know, Shakespeare、mm. and I, I love to read books.、Um, and I also liked science. So my minor area of study、mm. was biological science.、Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's a pretty strange combination, actually,、mm. to have a English major and a science minor.、Mm. But I thought that would be good、mm. for becoming a teacher、mm. because I would, you know, have, you know, a variety of different、mm. subjects yeah, yeah, yeah. I、mm. could teach. Yeah.、Um, and so I chose those just because it was fun and interesting、mm. uh, for me. Mm. Mm. Um, And I also kind of enjoyed being,、um, you know, in front of people.、Mm. So as a teacher,、mm. um, you're able to、uh, kind of do your job by communicating、mm. to people,、mm. which I like to do. Ah,、um, I see.、Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah.、Uh, I know you, you have been,、uh, you have worked as an English teacher for、mm-hmm. a long time.、Mm-hmm. So next question is job aspect.、Mm-hmm. Uh, what are the good,、uh, what are the good and bad part of your job and why? Oh, that's a great question. I think, you know, the, I'll start with the good parts first.、Mm-hmm. So the good part of my job is that I, I enjoy it very much、mm-hmm. because I love to, Communicate with、mm. people.、Mm. And every day I wake up thinking, all right, I'm going to go to school、mm. and I'm going to have fun.、Mm. So that's the part I like the best. I think, you know, helping people to communicate, I think makes the world a little bit better.、Mm. <laughs> I think if people, you know, if they feel anxiety to communicate,、mm. whether in their own language、mm. or in English,、mm. um, it's not a good thing.、Mm. So I like to help people to.、Mm. Meet new people,、mm. to express mm. themselves. Mm. And to me, that's、mm. a lot of fun.、Mm. Uh, I guess the bad part of my job is kind of sad. And that is that I, I don't like to say goodbye to my、mm. students. <laughs> But like every year, <laughs>、yeah. I have to say goodbye、yeah. to a group of students who I have become very close to.、Mm. And I know I might see them again in the future.、Mm. But, you know, I really enjoyed seeing them, you know, every week、mm. or every day.、Mm. And so saying goodbye to those students、mm-hmm. is probably the hardest part of my job.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm, I'm very happy for them、mm-hmm. when they graduate,、mm-hmm. go to the university yeah, they yeah. wanted to go to、mm-hmm. or 
find the job that、mm. they wanted to.、Mm. So it's kind of a good and bad thing.、Mm. Mm. Yeah, I agree with you because I'm a, in, a Japanese teacher too.、Uh, so you have the same <laughs> downside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes,、uh, the next question, uh, 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 when you were younger,、uh, what did you want to be and why? Yeah, that's interesting. So when I was young, of course, I really wanted to be an actor.、Mm, yeah. So I wanted to be on TV. And in fact, I was,、um, you know, I did some professional acting.、Mm. I did live theater.、Mm. I did radio plays.、Mm. I did TV.、Mm. Um, you can still see some of the TV shows on、mm. YouTube if you look hard enough.、Mm. <laughs> um, but I, I wanted to turn that into a career when I got older.、Mm. Um, however, The, the life of an actor is quite、mm. difficult.、Mm. I think, you know, you have to work very hard.、Mm. And also, I think that it's not always easy to be successful.、Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. So I wanted to be an actor.、Um, but then I changed. I wanted to be a dentist for a little mm. while. Mm.、Um, but then the, the, the idea of putting my hand in people's mouth, I didn't like that. So,、mm. yeah, maybe I'll be a, a teacher.、Mm. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think you have a good voice.、Uh, mm. That experience may、uh, give you a good voice. Maybe it helped a little bit. Yeah, <laughs>、mm. yeah and the next question. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, about next question is about Japan. Okay.、Uh, what places have you visited in Japan? What is your favorite place in Japan? Hmm. So I have been to many of the major cities. So,、mm. uh, Osaka,、mm. Tokyo,、mm. and of course I've been to, I've been to Hokkaido,、oh. but I have never been to Sapporo.、Ah. Um, I have, however, been to Okinawa,、mm. uh, Kyushu,、mm. um, Kagoshima. But my favorite place was a very small island、mm. that I visited in Kagoshima called Kikaijima.、Ah. I know, Kikaijima. Yeah, Kikaijima is very small. It's very famous for,、um, shochu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, yeah. yeah, like sugar, sugar <laughs> cane shochu, yeah, so yeah, yeah, sato kibi. Yeah. yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. Um, so I went there on a vacation and the people were just amazing.、Mm. So very friendly. <gasps> and, you know, I would walk down the street and everyone would immediately invite me to join them, whatever they were doing, whether it was <laughs> high school kids or a group of older men、mm. or, you know,、uh, even, you know, just the average person living on the island、mm. would just say, Oh, come and say hello. You know,、mm. do you speak Japanese? Yes.、Mm. Okay. Very friendly.、Mm. And they were always trying to, you know, Mm. Get me to come back、mm. on another vacation.、Mm. They said, next time you come back,、mm. stay with me. Don't、mm. stay in the hotel. You can stay in my home. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, very friendly.、Um, and it was, of course, a beautiful island, you know, a white mm. sand, mm. blue ocean.、Mm. Um, and you could, you could drive around the whole island、mm. in about two hours. So、mm. it was a very small place.、Mm. Um, I really felt、mm. the hospitality of Japan. Mm. 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 Yeah, I, I, I have never been to,、uh, Kikaijima,、mm. but I want to go to there. <laughs> yeah, you should. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and, next question, and, uh, 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 and about, about Japan, uh, what things do you like about Japan or Japanese culture? Well, I think it kind of relates to my last answer,、mm. and that is I really love the hospitality、mm. of people in Japan. So if you are a visitor to the country, or even if you're not a visitor,、mm. um, they treat customers or visitors with、mm. a lot of respect.、Mm. Um, you know, the omote nashi <laughs> kind of idea.、Um, and I think it's, you know, it shows that, you know, it makes a, a visitor feel mm. important mm. and it makes you realize that it's a wonderful place to、mm. visit, not only on a vacation, but、mm. to live also.、Mm. Even though I've been here for many years,、mm. I still feel that hospitality、mm. every day.、Mm. Um, so that's my favorite part of the culture, I think.、Mm. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>、uh, next question,、uh, next question is about you.、Mm. Uh, what is your hobby now and why? 
Well, I think my hobby is doing this podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, I, it's kind of, this is kind of work too, I guess. But mm. um, my true hobby, I think, is sports. Mm. So I like skiing. Mm. So Nagano is very good for skiing. Mm. So I enjoy going to all the different mountains mm. around Nagano. Mm. Uh, and in the summer, I like hiking mm. when I can go. I know you are a very avid hiker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, many good places and you have told me about yeah, them. Yeah. Um, but also I think my, <clears throat> the, the hobby I do the most mm. is just playing with my kids. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And, and, uh, it, uh, the next question about family. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, do you have a family here in Japan? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about your hobby. Okay. Mm. So, yeah, I got married about, uh, 10 years now. Mm. 10 years ago uh, now. 10 years. Oh. Yeah. Um, my wife is from Nagano. Mm. And, uh, we have three children. Mm. So we have a son mm. who's nine years old. Mm. Actually, his birthday was yesterday. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and he had a good birthday, I think. <laughs> And we have twin daughters mm. who are five years old, mm. and they were born um, also in September. Mm. So their birthday was September 4th. Mm. So the three children mm. and my wife, we live together, of course, and, you know, her family mm. is here in Nagano, mm. so her mother and father. Mm. Um, and she has a brother who lives in Tokyo. Mm. Um, but that's all for in Japan mm. uh, right now. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> And, uh, next question. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is your plan for the future? Well, I think my plan is to continue expanding the program mm. here at Kosen. So ah, yes. every, every job I've had, I've always tried to come in and continue to grow mm. the English program. Mm. So that is to add more and more mm. things. Mm. So at my old job, um, you know, we added different programs, mm. extensive reading, um, academic English program, mm. uh, returnee programs. Mm. And so I think that if you want to be a good school that mm. teaches English, mm. you need to teach not just like a, a one type only. Mm. So you need to create different programs mm. because every student has different needs mm. and every student likes different things. Mm. So some students like reading, so you should have a reading program and some students like watching TV. So maybe you should have um, videos that students can use. Um, some students are good at listening. So maybe having a podcast or mm. so having uh, multiple ways mm. for students to learn and creating different programs yeah. is kind of my goal for the future. Mm. Um, Beyond that, I would just like to also continue my research. Mm. So I like researching. Um, you know, I, I like to see what helps students learn better mm. or learn faster. Mm. So I'd like to continue my research mm. and publish more and more mm. if, yeah, I, yeah. if I can. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think in the future, once I retire, mm. I would just like to spend more time doing sports with my family. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I hope your dream come true and I, I want to join your project. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, uh, next is the last question. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, if, if not if, <laughs> if you could give any advice to start a student studying English, what would it be? Okay, so I often f- think about this question because mm. it's my job. Mm. So <laughs> the first thing I would say, and I tell my students mm. every class, mm. is to make English study your hobby. Mm. So English study should not be a subject, mm. it should be your hobby, mm. which means that every day mm. you should do a little bit. Mm. Or maybe not even every day, but two or three times a week, mm. you should do something. Mm. Even if it's just, you know, 15 minutes listening to podcasts yeah. or um, studying vocabulary mm. for 10 minutes mm. or watching English TV mm. or YouTube videos. Mm. Um, you know, I think that students need to think of English as mm. something they do for fun mm. and it's not like studying for a test. Mm. So it's just you you do it because you like English. Mm. And once you do something as a hobby, mm. yeah. it becomes easier. Mm. Right? So for me, studying Japanese was a hobby. Mm. So I never went to any formal Japanese school. Oh, really? 
Yeah, oh. no, I never did. So my idea was to speak to as many people as possible oh. and learn that way. Oh. Um, which means that sometimes I speak a bit funny, but mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I try my best. So. Mm-hmm. Um, my second piece of advice is to, if you ever get the chance, mm. you should go abroad. So you should go to a country oh. and live immersed in English for mm. some time, mm. whether it's a short trip mm. or a longer stay mm. or even to study overseas. Mm. I think that's the very best way to learn English mm. quickly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I should follow your advices uh, mm. because I'm also English learner. <laughs> yeah, well, but please don't leave Japan because <laughs> I, I need you to be my good friend. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, well, that's it for the interview today. So mm. I want to say thank you very much mm. to Chinatsu for being the guest host. Mm. And maybe in the future we can do this again. Yeah. And I want to congratulate you on mm. very good English. <laughs> so... <laughs> Your questions were perfect. And even, <laughs> your, even your comments were very well done. So thank <laughs> thank you. you very much. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you again. And mm. thank you again. I know you're very busy. Mm. We both have classes we have to teach soon. So um, thank you. And we'll talk again. Mm. Thank you very much. I had a good time too. That's good. Well... I hope you enjoyed that interview with Chinatsumaki, and I would like to say thank you very much for listening. Also, I hope that you will try the comprehension questions when you have free time, so you can check your listening ability in English. And please, if you would like to be notified by email whenever a new podcast is up, please become a subscriber at kjkentmsed.substack.com. That's K-J-K-E-N-T-M-S-E-D dot S-U-B-S-T-A-C-K dot com. If you become a paid subscriber there, you can read transcripts of the interviews and check your comprehension answers. You can also check out Easy English Interviews now at easyenglishinterviews.locals.com. That's L-O-C-A-L-S. All right, thank you again. And I will see you in next season. That's right. This is the end of season one. And we will be doing season two very soon. So please stay tuned. And also, please check out my new website at www.easy-english-interviews.com. All right. See you again in season two.